then please keep watching. I've started by using a base that will even out the discoloration on my client's eyelids. I'm then using a fluffy brush to apply orange eyeshadow in the crease of the eyelid and then using a light eyeshadow to act as a brow bone highlight. I'm using a flat shader brush to apply a deep green eyeshadow to the inner and middle part of the lid as you see here and then blending it out with the same fluffy brush that we used to apply the orange shadow at the start. I'm using a really small pencil brush to apply black eyeshadow to the outer part of the lid in a V sort of shape. And as always, I list all the products that I've used in the description tab below. I'm using a domed blending brush to blend out that black eyeshadow into the orange. It takes some time but you just want to go over the harsh line over and over until it becomes blurry. I'm using a small pencil brush to apply black eyeshadow to the bottom lash line as you see here. I'm applying a black gel eyeliner in a winged shape and then connecting it to the bottom lash line which makes the eye look elongated and bigger. And then lining the waterline with a black pencil. This can be tricky but having a crayon like pencil makes it much easier and quicker. And don't forget to line the top waterline too. I'm cleaning all the fallout with an eye makeup remover and then applying some false eyelashes. Some clients specifically request a lighter coloured foundation and this is one of those cases. I'm using a cream foundation and using a smaller brush to apply under the eyes. I'm using a darker foundation to contour with and add colour back into the face. I do this on the cheekbones, jawline, nose, forehead, etc. and then blend it all out. Sometimes I use a powder to intensify the contouring even more. I applied blush and highlighter off camera and just finishing off with some eyebrow shadow and an orange lipstick. And here's the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be uploading the hair tutorial to go with this look soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!